Hey guys, what's up? It's Chelsea Kane. Um, I am packing for my big trip to Le Pelli. Um, I'm very excited, so I thought I'd let you guys come on in and check out um, how I pack for a long trip. I'm actually uh, kind of famous among my friends for taking very small suitcases uh, for a very prolonged period of time. So um, I thought I would give you my little tips and tricks so that you don't have a big, you're not lugging a, a big suitcase through your backpacking trip if you're getting away this summer. So my first tip um, is shoes. You wanna find a pair of shoes that are super comfortable, easy to walk around in and go with every outfit. Um, I did a little research looking at what's really big in Europe right now, trends that are really hot, and all the girls are wearing these little ankle booties with small heels. And it's great because you still have a little heel, it's still a little sexy, but you can walk around and see the sights and your feet aren't going to be hurting in a couple hours. So these are actually from London. I had them um, brought in from London and this was kind of my special treat for Euro, fa Euro fashion. And uh, I made sure all my outfits went went with these shoes so I can wear them to the airport and I already have one less thing in my suitcase. This is my Kate Moss book and I feel like when you think of of fashion in Europe she's kind of a staple and, and a legend so I went through this book and found some looks that I really love from her. Jean shorts, skirts, fancy tops and um, you know I think with fashion, you want to find that happy medium of what's trendy, but also classic looks that, that are timeless and fun and will never go out of style. So she was my inspiration for that, and then I just kind of took it from there. So the first thing I noticed, she wore a lot were jean shorts, which I have on. And then I got this um, faux leather top from H&M. Actually, everything you see on the bed is from H&M because I wanted it to be trendy but in a great price range so I can spend more money eating out on my trip as opposed to on dresses that are overpriced and won't fit in my suitcase. So faux leather top, we're a friend of the animals. Um, the other thing that goes with these shorts, so I can take this outfit from day to night after I land, I can go to a bar or a club, is uh, this H&M top. I'm loving this rhinestone collar. I think it's beautiful and plus it's nice. It's a little flashy if you're at a bar, the lights will catch it but you know, I don't think you want to wear something really revealing in a foreign country when you first get there because we've all seen Taken. These acid washed black jeans, which I think are really cool. We're wandering around the city. I love it. They're kind of punk rock. And I actually cut off the bottoms. I'll show you, just so you believe me. Um, because you want to be able to like pair it up with sandals if it's really hot and I don't like when jeans bunch around your ankle So that makes it really easy for throwing it on with these sandals, which are cute. I got them at Zara Just yesterday, so I know they're still there and um, And then I can also throw them on with the boots when we're going out that night and they won't be caught up in my boots and uncomfortable I got this from my closet little vintage zebra tank top throw it on with a red bra for some reason, the punk thing, like the sexy punk thing is still really big in Europe and I love that. So throw it on with a red bra, these jeans, and then this cute little H&M flowered bomber jacket. If it gets cold, it's fun, it's colorful, and it's really light and easy to pack. And I'll probably carry it on the plane with me because I'm always freezing on airplanes. Next, we have these jeans. Simple jeans, H&M. You should always have jeans in your, on your trip. Staple, you can buy white t-shirts if you're traveling around and don't wanna do laundry anymore. Um, I'm gonna pair it with this black peplum shirt from H&M. Um, peplum's huge in the US right now, but it might just be going out of style in Europe, so I'm anxious to see um, if anyone's still wearing it. And once again, these will go with my boots. And I cut the bottoms off of those jeans too. Finally, another vintage t-shirt, the Blue Oysters, with some floral jeans. I think those are really cute, it's fun, it's colorful. It's still summer there and it's gonna be really hot, so I definitely wanna be able to uh, enjoy being outside. And finally, when I am going out, here's my nicer outfit. Once again, H&M, black and blue. Goes with the boots, it's light fabric. You also want to try to pack a lot of um, 
like silks or light breezy fabric when you're traveling because cotton wrinkles really easily in your suitcase. And at least with these types of fabrics, they'll steam out on their own with your, your body heat just when you're walking around during the day. I'm gonna throw in this jean shirt because it goes with all of my outfits if I need an extra layer, if it's getting a little cold. Plus, jean on jean is in right now, which I never thought would happen in my generation. That's pretty awesome. Uh, so I have one more outfit there. And look at my suitcase. There's still so much room left. So if I get invited to some fancy smancy dinner once I'm there, I can uh, buy a dress and some heels and I'm going to Paris. It's one of the most fashion forward places in the world. The girls are fearless there, so I'm sure I'm definitely gonna be inspired and wanna pick up some, some threads while I'm in town. So I have lots of room to bring back new stuff to show you guys. And here we go. Oh, and don't make fun of my suitcase. I know it's hideous. I got it at TJ Maxx. It's fine. We've been through a lot together. We've the pink snake. She's a legend. Um, and the reason I'm bringing her is because the last time I went to Paris, I bought a very fancy schmancy designer little suitcase, and the wheels fell off 10 minutes after getting off the plane. And dragging a suitcase with no wheels through cobblestone streets is not fun. So I'm taking the diehard, and I know she's ugly enough that no one will steal her at the airport. Hey guys, what's up? This is Chelsea Kane, and this is my travel makeup bag, and actually, my everyday makeup bag. Uh -huh. 